Greetings to all. Desire everyone is doing well. Thank you for supporting me as I support you along the many evolutionary journeys within your healing of your mind, body, soul, spirit, and your emotions. As you see by the title, we are going into the Chiron of Virgo, the wounds of criticism or the wounds of order. You are the big helper. Your healing power is to help people organize within their life. Okay? So, this is still general. However, your storyline may not come out or the situation, but there still will be some useful things within this message as well for you to take with you. I also advise... Um, come on, get in there. I also advise excuse me checking out the opposite axis of Pisces um, of the Chiron wounds as well all that jazz you know what to do if you so desire all the information you need will be down in the description box for any personal consultations with or without cards my cash app for any donations to support the channel and also will be greatly appreciated as well as my disclaimer I am a little low um, today this is my take four um, for Chiron um, so let's see if this uploads for you um, I'm also a little low because I'm going through a lot of things and changes and evolving within my own space at this time as well I also want you to know that I am here to trigger you. But know that through the trigger, my intentions comes with truth, compassion, and love. To really highlight the area where you're to the area to shine the light upon your knowing and what to dig deeper within the self. Here we go again, another hot flash. Mm. I've come to my false flaws, hiccups and all, irritations and interruptions too, fam. I am riding this wave and this change within my own life right now. Let's look at the past. the dog current the dog the past you have tried to be a companion you've tried to be a friend to people but somehow there was some betrayal around that where it's as if you weren't good enough keep it Currently, Cupid. This is the Four of Diamonds and the Queen of Swords as well. The Amour. Someone or you may be looking or longing for something. Or someone may be wanting to be involved with you. But because of the past pain and what you've experienced in giving of yourself. You've kind of shut that down. And what you don't see is the key with the four of pinnacles I mean the four of wands let's get more what's the challenges for my Chirons and Virgo supreme creative source ancient of the ancient ancestors in the higher realms of our greatest good the lady she looks like she's studying When I say I don't know, it's not the cards, it's me. If you hear me say I don't know right now, under my breath, it's me. Because I'm going through some stuff right now. And 
you and Pisces are the last two. And I want to get out of this energy. It's very draining for Mama Soul. In my earth body. energy of the dog and the four of pinnacles four is home so you can have a Chiron and Virgo in the fourth house especially with four being out twice with the four of wands and the four of pinnacles yeah this is um, you were criticized you were criticized in the things that you loved and that you and cancer is here too with the two of cups which is really the roots the foundations the home this is you know the values within home the things that you tried to be of good help but yet you were um criticized or you were um yelled at fussed at the current energy Ooh. The devil. This is dealing with harsh words with the Queen of Swords here. Maybe there was a divine feminine in your life, or maybe you're a divine feminine in your own life right now, and your words are a little um, self critical within the self, within the mind, or can be critical towards others, especially with the past of companions, um, with the dog and the two of cups being here, that um, now you're kind of seduced. You're kind of seduced within it. It's like a disconnection here, what they don't see. Seven of Swords, the key. You keep procrastinating on yourself, sleeping on yourself, just sleeping on yourself. You may be arguing within yourself heavily. You don't feel so fortunate. You don't feel so inspired so um, celebratory I just want one source the knight of swords what is this and the seven of coins the knight of swords the two of coins challenged with moving quickly Challenge with your thoughts. This is challenge with the innermost critic within self that you've become because of things of the past. Because of not feeling accepted or even appreciated for the work and the things that you have done and what you have put out. There's a longing that's still within you because you hold the key, but this procrastination is what's actually keeping you from being able the procrastination within the healing aspect or the procrastination in not really facing um, the emotions that you feel within yourself this is like not valuing yourself this is like looking outside of yourself for validation when in actuality you need to tap within the self to validate the self let's get some more on this. I 
do want to apologize, family, because I am really out of this world right now, and I'm having a difficult time focusing at this time, and this can be your energy as well, having a difficult time focusing, you know, because all of these distractions, you know, that are around you, you know, there's many things around that you love, but yet... You're not sure exactly what are the ones that are unhealthy for you. Yeah. We have the Chariot, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah. The Chariot, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords. This is not being inspired. The past has just kind of moved in on you. It's, um, yeah, it feels like just moved in. Like, it's just keeping you blinded. The past is keeping you blinded of your own two cups, your own love, you know, the things that you long to do. This is like connecting with people with the two of cups. Like, you just really desire to connect with people but the things in the past of people that has just been so harsh and so brutal in their words or their actions towards you that it's like it's impossible for you to free yourself from this because currently we have the devil and then in the past you see the bondage but you see this individual here in the cage but the cage is open there's freedom to actually move from out of this but it's like you're just stuck in that redundant cycle. And it's redundant because there's not much that you're giving towards the restitution. The restitution in healing it. The payback is the healing process. The devil. Current. Yeah, social. There's some unhealthy um, Mia Moors. Yeah. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. That's all I want, Swords. Three of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Three of Swords. It's difficult. Currently, it is truly difficult for you to really come to true and authentic social groups, friend groups, school groups, work groups. It's difficult to collaborate and communicate with family members as well because this pain is just like this bleeding heart within this cupid. This is like some of you don't know how to think, what to think about others. And, and this is um, bias as well, Jed being a little judgmental towards people. It's like I keep trying. Some of you are trying to get to calmer waters, but it's like you're getting tired in the process. Some of you are getting tired or lethargic in the process to where it's like, what am I doing this for? And then you just find yourself back in the midst of the cloud within the mind and the torment of your heart currently. And it's keeping you from being empowered within the self, standing up within your own author within your own authority of self as your own ruler. There's, I don't want to hear that, but okay, there's some suicidal thoughts here within the collective of my Chiron and Virgos because there's a strong feeling of wanting to be accepted by others because you really want to give of yourself, but you keep finding yourself in situations that keep breaking your heart or disappointing you. It's like just constantly redundant, denying, it's a nightmare. The Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords. It's a lot of swords here. 
This is a nightmare and the Ace of Pentacles. What you don't see is the night. I mean, you see the nightmare. But the nightmare is keeping you from beginning, just from starting. That's that procrastination. You know, there's a real sense, strong sense of needing to surrender. This is bringing, you have to surrender and face the fears. Face the boogeyman that's standing behind those um, swords there. That are, you know, those dark, the darkest emotions of your past. And become one with them. Become the dog with them. Reunite with them. You know, be true to them. Surrender to those clouds. Surrender to those emotions. Surrender into those things and thinking that you're not well enough or you're not good enough. This is also, um, you may need to ground yourself more. Um, take more grounding um, and centering um, practices at this time within your life. Because what you don't see is that you have the ability to overcome this. And to start a brand new book, a brand new foundation, a brand new creation where you can actually then come into the like-minded individuals that aren't going to beat you up or criticize you, you know, because you have one, one or two mistakes or, or because you may have forgotten a particular detail about something. One more. That's the Two of Cups again. And the challenges. The lovers. The Nine of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Which you don't see. I mean challenges. The lovers. The Nine of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Again with the Knight of Swords. Balance, your challenge with balance. Some of you are moving too fast, and that's what's creating your equilibrium to be off. Some of you are moving too fast in love relationships or to help people, and this is what's keeping you currently within constantly feeling like you need to move away or constantly dealing with this pain stricken within your mind um, or your heart at this time. Balance. Your challenge with balance. And trying to lay out what you truly want. What you truly want to feel. This is a strong burden this is a strong burden in what you feel because it's like you're crossed between the paths. You're crossed between the paths within yourself. Because you really desire to be with people, to acknowledge people, to help people. But there seems like there's a, a, a distrust within the intuition here. And this grounding and connecting with nature just may be the space that you need to be to really help you alchemize um, this energy because it really feels like you're mostly an inner critic of self or you're still allowing other people to criticize you from within. You know, speaking to you on the outside, communicating to you any kind of way. You know, verbal, um, psychological um, abuse, um, telling you that you're not good enough or, you know, why did you do that? I didn't ask you to do that. You know, just so many different aspects or areas that that can actually play in. But it's in really important that you find the key within your own pain and really come out of this nightmare in which you're feeling and what you're experiencing this is also stop procrastinating on whatever it is that you're trying to build 
and not allow the seduction of the pain or the trickery of the pain to consume you. I'm hearing by any means necessary. Mm. This is sickening because it's making my solar plexus hurt. The solar plexus is that night, and I mean that emperor energy. This is not being confident, not being bold. This is introverted as well. A lot of the collective individuals of my Chirons in Virgo, you've become isolated from people and social groups because of the pain. And I really feel like your higher self and your soul purpose is asking you to address the problem, assess it, and to find how you can come accepting and acknowledge and accept and allow the self to go through its needed process processing yeah process processing the pain and the disappointments because they're still present within your life because there's a strong challenge between the spiritual realm and the earthly realm within love and connection and unity it's like you don't see the difference it's something about the weighing of odds I'm hearing something about the weighing of odds. Let's get um, a spiritual message or two or three. Let's see. Supreme. One more source. Thank you. Keep moving forward even if you are unsure of your next step or where it may take you. Trust that you are walking the path you are meant to walk. Remember, we are walking with you. Trust yourself more. Yeah, because with this bondage and the devil, the eight of pentacles, I mean the eight of swords and the devil, the nine of swords being here and the nine of wands, you know, this is really requiring you to trust within the innate of source within you. You know, in order to really move forward, this is trusting and also knowing that your spirit guides, your ancestors are all there to support you through the looking into the pain of the nightmares and why it's difficult for you to reconnect back with people or to reconnect yourself back into the essence of source or to also reconnect to your true authentic way of thinking and not being so hard and critical or brutal to yourself okay or not allowing other people to be critical or brutal to you it says be clear about where you are putting your focus right now focus on your desired outcome you have everything within to create the life of your dreams. Stop doubting yourself for once. This is your time. We've got you. It is time to stop letting worry rule you. Yes. Instead, get excited about your future and your healing and all it will bring. What energy and emotion you put out comes back to you with a little conscious effort on your part. That happy ending can and will be yours, but you have to believe, trust, and know it exists. You know, it's like if you're trying to come out of this energy of pain and disappointment, and you're just, 
in your mind cycle of that repeated wheel over and over again and you can't relieve your heart or your mind from this all it does is keep attracting the opposite part of your battery is going to attract that same energy from different social groups or work groups or love relationships okay love relationships it's just going to keep being a redundant cycle until you really get your energy in check and really look and face those emotions within you that are just dark and that are just nightmares that you truly don't want to accept or deal with at this time in your life and I can understand because it's difficult you know to really come back into your true authenticity I, I've been I've been there I I've been there I've walked these paths and and really having to search myself out and really become my own best friend and really come to tame my own tongue and my own anger and rage you know from allowing me to keep disappointing myself you know to where I had to then start to reprogram my mind through positive affirmations and speaking you know positive things into my heart and into my mind you know it required me to have to do some mirror gazing where I hold the mirror to literally look into my soul up to my face not just standing at the bathroom mirror but really stepping into the mirror and looking and it also required me to keep praying you know and meditating to and asking for my inner child to return to me to come back to me to show me who and who you are and who we are as a whole so that we can work together you know within unison within harmony you know it's been a trying time but it is something that in the end it brings a great reward but you have to trust within the process you have to trust in it and help yourself at this time before you go out trying to help other people that are still creating these repeated wounds within your heart and your mind. I just don't understand. I do understand because I'm detoxing off of manufactured cigarettes family. And it's a battle. I still smoke my cigarettes. But I was smoking too much, fam. I don't care if I was burning them. I was smoking them too much. You know what I'm saying? So now I implement my um, herbal blend that I smoke. Because I'm not completely ready to do cold turkey. I don't, I don't want to put myself nor my children through that, truly. But, um... And then I'm also, ha I have my own private summers, you know, so I'm going through a lot and ascension symptoms right now, trying to prepare my body, trying to prepare itself for this major solar flash that we're getting ready to have um, come April the 8th. And it's difficult right now. It's difficult. It'd be 30 something degrees and I'm still burning burning the heck up but that's enough about mama soul but I'm I'm going through it right now fam I'm going through but I'm present I'm here let's get a final message from the voice of the soul we will read this from the book I feel like I'm just baking from the inside outward the supreme my Chirons and Virgo. I do thank you for bearing with me through this. If I'm not clear, I truly apologize. But I'm not so well today. I'm emotional. This can be your emotions, but I'm emotional because my Chiron is in Aries in the 10th house. 
that deals with my identity and being criticized as well. Or not thinking that I'm good enough. Communication is at the bottom. And we have calm. Card number seven. It's embarrassing to me. I want to run right now. I want to run. Christelle of Mama So Lily wants to run. But I'm here to be of service. And this is my Chiron in Virgos. You are here to be of service. Because you're the big helper. That is your healing power. To help people organize the areas in their life, in their mind, in their hearts. Or within their everyday reality. But you have been wounded so deep within this because of the things that you've had to deal with. That you run from service. Or you overindulge yourself in service, but yet still feel like you're not getting anywhere. Let's read. Calm. Your soul. You may be feeling a kind, a kind of inner upheaval. You feel something important is on the way. You are afraid of making a mistake. Or you are afraid to believe or trust. You are truly connected to your spiritual, intuitive, and psychic abilities. Everything you feel is correct. And many things you have been waiting for are finally coming to you. This will bring you great joy, love, healing, and happiness. You will feel complete. All your needs will be fulfilled. You will find yourself in a gentle and benevolent energy if you allow yourself to heal and sort out the nightmares within and step forward to be ser of service to you first so that way you can then be of service to others. Your spirit guides, you have already opened a new chapter. Renewal is here. It is present in your energy. Now claim it. And you can feel it. We know it. And we continue to send you signs to confirm your feelings are correct. So if you're doubting any relationship that you're in or any situationship that's going on around you, you're hearing the information and what the steps and what it is that you need to do. Because this is the opposite axis of your Chiron in Virgo is Pisces that has that knowing of what's needed, okay? Because of the connectivity that is there of the spirit. This is an important year for you. It will be rich in transparency, change, and honesty. You dare to say what you would like and what you want. You dare to show yourself as you are. You dare to rise your head and believe and trust in your inner victory. The entity. I talk to you, but you don't hear me. This is the entity within self, okay? Within the self. You need calm moments of silence, moments of inner harmony. You wouldn't find the answers you're waiting for from others. You won't feel my presence through others, but you will by being in touch with yourself. Take a few moments to create true inner and outer calm, family. I never knew this calm when I was incarnated. There was far too much noise around me. I didn't listen to myself, 
which would have helped me to understand that I had the answers inside me all along. I gave far too much power to the words of others. Too much power in the words of others in this past energy with the dog and the two of cups here. Instead of my own thoughts, listen to yourself. Be silent to hear your voice and my voice. By taking a few moments in this place, hidden from others, your den, your sanctuary, you can receive the answers and signs you expect from me. I am here waiting for you to create inner space so I can talk to you. Whew, I do say, my beautiful souls, if you made it this far, thank you for sticking this out with me. And also take the expression of my own emotions and what I'm going through as your own if it resonates with you within your life story. All that jazz, like, subscribe, share, comment, hit that bell notification so you know when I go live, upload, or do a premiere. Hit an, an emoji in the comment section to let me know that you are present, that you received the message. And again, I humbly say thank you for making it through this with me. And until next time, my beautiful souls, I share.